What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And if you are a closet nerd such as myself, you've been binge watching The Witcher on Netflix based on the books and also the video game series starring the man, the myth, the legend, Henry Cap. All right, so if you guys haven't seen the video already, Men's Health put out a video with Henry Cavill and his trainer talking about the workout that he went through to get in his role uh, for Geralt of Rivia. Henry's looking pretty jacked, may I say the least. So what we're gonna do is break down the workout with Men's Health. I'm gonna give you my take on it. Overall, I think it's pretty good, but I do think that there are some things that I would've changed or maybe I didn't like. So let's break down the first movement, uh, which you go over, which is a slower uh, RDL with a four count down while wearing a hip circle around his thighs to get some glute activation. So when doing the RDL, we really wanna focus on our posterior chain, which basically means all the muscles on the backside of our body. And what they were talking about for this film was that it really was helping him have that strength for a lot of the fighting scenes and wielding a sword and he had to make sure that he had a strong core and a strong posterior chain to do all the action stunts. So my overall take on this movement is I actually love RDLs. I use them a lot for myself, as well as my athletes that I train and program for. The eccentric is great as well for getting some more time under tension and for the purpose of hypertrophy. What I don't necessarily agree with is the band or the hip circle around the thighs. Uh, they were saying it's for a glute activation. I really think it's for the sex scenes in the show to show off that man's buns, <laughs> which I get it, okay, he's got nice buns. <sighs> But to be honest with you, I didn't really feel much of a difference with or without the band. And honestly, if you really wanted to work on your glutes, you could do something like hip thrusters uh, as a separate movement and just focus on the RDL themselves. So that's all I have to say about that. Moving on to the next movement. All right, so the next movement that they were doing in their workout was uh, back extensions or hyper extensions, which typically is gonna work all the muscles in the posterior chain again. So we're seeing a theme here. Henry Cavill wants a big tush. So with these, you're gonna feel it in your rectus spinae muscles, which are the muscles along your lower back. You're gonna feel it in the butt cheeks and the hamstrings as well. I really like these movements. I have a lot of my clients do them. I do them myself as well as my athletes. So I'm just gonna hop on here, do some of them. You can check them out and try them for yourself. Jennifer! So if you don't have one of these machines at your gym, you can easily replace it by doing a deadlift, an RDL, even squats are great too, but something that's gonna hit that posterior chain is something you can easily substitute it with, and maybe then someone will throw a coin at that booty. Now the next movement they showed in the video was Mr. Cavill doing a static oblique hold from the cable machine. Now what they were trying to do is mimic what it's like to have a sword constantly on your hand at all time with the set, and let me tell you, doing three sets of 30 second holds per side on this, you are totally gonna feel it in your abs and your obliques and your, your entire core in general. Now, I definitely do like this movement. However, the only thing I think is slightly uh, not realistic is that they're constantly mimicking that he'll be holding his sword like this the entire time. However, when you watch the show, you know that he is a crazy ass swordsman swinging that thing around like a lumberjack chopping bodies down left and right. So what I would probably do with my client is replace this with some sort of rotational uh, slam, whether that's with a, a med ball or a wall ball, uh, just to get the rotation going and using that core a little bit more in motion to be more specific to what he's actually doing with the sword. All right, so there's been this picture of Geralt going around with some massive ass shoulders. A lot of people are questioning, was he on steroids, was he not? And let me tell you this, from getting the pump that I just did from doing these shoulder raises, which is a three-way shoulder raise, I think he's totally natty. I think he just got a ton of blood in those shoulders. And this is a great movement if you're trying to increase the size of your shoulders, make yourself look a little bit more chiseled. Uh, but basically you're gonna do a front raise, then in the middle, and then out to the side. And that's one rep. So doing three sets of eight to 10 total reps, uh, which is actually gonna be anywhere from 20 to 30 reps, is a ton of volume for the shoulders. I'm a huge fan. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders and your traps as well. And it's definitely gonna give you, like I said, that more defined and chiseled look. So. Moving on to the next movement. The next movement in the workout is gonna be an ISO bicep curl. So what that means is that there's gonna be an isometric hold midway up with one arm as the other arm is completing the bicep curl and you'll go back and forth for this. I think they were doing about three sets of 10 with these. And let me tell you, your biceps are gonna burn. Uh, so we're forcing a lot of blood to the muscle with that time under tension. And I'm a big fan of this movement overall. So if you wanna grow your arms, you wanna look a little bit better in the bicep region, throw these puppies in. 
Now, one thing I will add to this is if you really want that contraction and forcing as much blood to the muscle as possible, try not to open your arm all the way at the bottom and keep a bend in the elbow. When you do this, like I said, main thing here is time under tension and we're really gonna put force and stress on the muscle uh, when we do that. All right, so those are all the movements that they had shown in the men's health workout that they did with uh, Henry. However, with my experience, I'm gonna give you guys three exercises that if he was my client, I would implement into his regime to look even juicier, thicker, and sexier of a beast than he already is in the show. All right, so the first exercise that I would include in this is gonna be tricep pushdowns. I know we focus on the biceps, but in the workout, they seem to neglect the tricep, which is gonna make the arms look even bigger and kind of give it that total package of an arm. So for me, tricep pushdowns are a go-to. You can do anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 reps, three to four sets, uh, and you can even superset that with your iso curls that we had shown in the video. Movement number two is gonna be farmer carries. Now I'm huge in strongman. I'm actually the 2019 national champion for the heavyweight class. And farmer walks are something that if he implemented, it's just gonna help make his back look bigger, his shoulders and his traps. It's also gonna help with grip strength, which I know they had mentioned a ton in the video uh, for sword wielding. So by doing farmer walks, it's only gonna make him look bigger, more badass, and help with his sword skills to slay even more monsters and maybe a few bits. In the workout, they had included posterior chain, some core work, arms, shoulders, and I was surprised they didn't include any chest work. So. What I would include is something to blow up those chesticles a bit, and that's gonna be alternating chest press on an incline. So we're still gonna get some of that shoulder in there as well as the chest, uh, but it's one of my favorite movements to do. If you wanted to add some sort of tempo or eccentric to get even more blood flow to the chest, you can throw that in there. Uh, but those would be the three movements that I would include if he was my client. All right, so there you guys have it. There's my recap of the Witcher workout with Henry Cavill. Overall, I thought it was great. There were a couple gimmicky things which we straightened out or I gave you kind of my take on it. On top of that, giving you guys three workout movements that I would implement if he were my client. He's not, but hit me up, bro. And if you guys liked the video, make sure that you toss me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. So until then, guys, be a lean, mean, strength machine. Check out The Witcher on Netflix and uh, give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Peace.